Hey gamers, it's me Dolby Chief here. Um, yeah, I'm playing Minecraft Xbox One Edition, and um, I'm playing with a friend of mine, H H Shorty. So, um, and though he cannot really hear me because I'm doing the upload studio thing. So on here, this is my character um, on this map. Apparently, when we were playing this tutorial map, that uh, that we ran to a a building in, uh, of some sort, and which Shorty basically says that he built it, which I which I kind of believe him, you know, that he built it. So uh, it's it's a nice map. Uh, this is a huge map off the Xbox One. Edition. So, um, but anyway, for my little update, um, the Tahoe that I told you guys about that that yes I, I got it, but it wasn't the it wasn't the 2001, you know the white one. So I got a 98 for the same price. Okay, cool. Um, so I had it for one day, one day, and um, it did not work out. Like I was about to go into town. Like during the night, because I had to run like an errand, and then the tire just blew out, just blew out, and then. Uh, Where did you go? So if you if you guys want to see a photo of it, just comment down below if you want to see a photo of it, because I can see if I, if I can find a way to post a photo of it. So um, so I got to get that taken care of, but I'm actually liking this um this system of the Xbox Connect and all that because it's got the upload studio so this is how I can make better videos now I can't really make live stream videos yet I mean I tried to do a broadcast on Twitch earlier and somehow it says all accounts like must have things to where I could broadcast it says I had to ha I had to be an adult to broadcast apparently which I am an adult I'm 22 years old for heaven's sakes but um I gotta find a way to fix that uh, Cause I went on my on my account, and so I didn't find anything. I didn't I didn't find anything on how to fix that. So I'm not sure what to do there. I'll have to go on Twitch on my computer or something to check that out. Um. So that's how I'm having a little technical difficulties right now. So I will eventually get a capture card. Right now I'm in a little tight budget type of situation, but. I will have the chance to get a capture card so I can make actual live gameplay through YouTube instead of doing Twitch because I'm not much of a Twitch person usually. But I do watch a couple videos. I do I do watch a couple of uh, videos that I met, I met some new people on there. I haven't watched them in a while. I, I kind of feel bad I haven't watched them broadcast for a while because I've always been online. So, um, I looked on YouTube earlier today, and it says that the Master Chief Collection uh, was fixed, you know, for Big Team Battle. Now, I haven't been on there yet, so I will I will eventually go on there and uh, check it out and see if it's all fixed. Because uh, hopefully it is fixed, even though it's not going out very well for the gaming industries of now and today, you know. Because I did hear, hear good tips that if we want better games... The best tip is, you don't have to take it if you want to, if you just want to do it, you can. But I'm going to get straight to the point. That if you want the gaming industries to basically finish their game, it's best to do not, I repeat, do not pre-order any games. Because otherwise, they'll, they'll be having their money ahead of time, and then they'll just drop their own project of the game and just not even finish it. Because... I heard from a couple of YouTubers. I, one of them that I can name, which is Boogie2988. I, I, I saw him did a pre uh, did a pre order suggestion of don't, trying to pre order, and I think now, don't quote me on this, but I think it was Mr. Ribzian as as well that said that that it's best not to pre order games because if the gaming industry is just gonna do their their little project where they'll just drop the game of not finishing it because just people are pre ordering it. So, which I kind of agree, I kind of agree with these guys. Just send the gaming industries a message saying, hey, finish our games. In order for, for them to get the message, it's best to do not pre-order games. Now, if you like to pre-order games, like, just to do the multiplayer and all that, you know, it's fine, you know, you, you know you're cool. But I know there, there are some people out there that want actual good graphics, um, 
Let's see what else. Like storylines, depending on the game. Like for example, Des uh, a friend of mine told me about about this one YouTuber called Angry Joe. If I remember correctly, I'll, I'll have to I'll have to look that up. But um, this YouTuber, I learned something from that he made a video review over Destiny. And when I watched this video, I was like, something just popped in my mind. It's like this guy is right. There's a lot of problems with Destiny right now. Because basically, when you play the storyline, okay, like it says at the beginning, that you just automatically came back to life. You know, it's like, like me, me, me and my friend, a friend of mine, not, not my friend that's in here, but um, basically, a friend of mine, uh, him and I, we're, we're, like, we're just talking about this game. So, so we're like, okay. We want more info. Like what? Like whatever happened before? Like like what happened to the Kaiser drone? How did all this happen? How did how did whatever happened on Venus or Mars? You know, because you know when we went on Venus and the Kaiser drone, you know there were some vehicles, very rusty vehicles, skeletons everywhere. It's like we want to know what happened. We want to know the history. I mean, I know the thing for the, the thing called Grimmire to put on the apps, but there are some people that don't have the app. Like, there are some people that don't even have, like, a smartphone which can take apps, or, like, a tablet. So, so, like, some other stuff is basically, like, another one is, like, a reward system. The reward system on Destiny is messed up. Because me and my good friend, we were on Venus, and we found a loot crate, or, a, like, a little chest. And so, when we both open it, he all he got was, um, Spirit Bloom and, like, uh... Uncommon armor. Well, I I got spirit bloom, um, uncommon armor, and like two uncommon armor, and then one legendary engram. And I was the only one that, that got it. And then I thought that was not fair because it's like, okay, what did I do in order to deserve this? You know. So I agree. I agree with a friend of mine that the rank that the the reward reward system is all messed up. It's really messed up because he told me one time him and him and my other friend they were playing the Crucible on Destiny. And so they were like doing really good. They got a lot of kills. They got first and second place, you know. While other ones were like, 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 like right below them. And so when the Crystal game was over, which their team won, so all they got was like just like a shader or something, you know, just you know, just the kind of stuff that that uh, they say I already have that or that thing is like too low, and you know, I have better stuff than that. While the people that died more had less assists, while those guys they got like legendary engrams that are way better. They got exotics. They got an awesome ship or an awesome shader. So I stand my my, my point right there that those guys got rewarded for not doing anything much, which they suck. You know, kind of kind of suckish on the game. While while the good players like my good friends that they did well on the crucible. All they got was just like uncommon, you know, armor or, or something like that. You know, just you know, something that's like a little graded. You know, something that's yeah. You know. So, back to the subject of pre-ordering games. For those that really want good, really, that want really good games, it's best not to pre-order. Because yeah, I, I I pre-ordered some games. You know, just like I felt disappointed when I, when I first pre-ordered uh, Master Chief Collection. I was disappointed because they had a lot of issues on it, and and yes, I did pre-order Halo Five, but the but that was way before I found out that it's best to not pre-order any games. So from here from here on out, I probably won't pre-order any games anymore. Just to send the gaming industry a, a message saying, "Hey, we want you to finish our games," and I'm sure all you guys out there will agree with me as well. I mean, I'm not uh, okay. Let uh, let's see how you put this. I'm not like trying to do a threat or anything towards gaming industry. It's just I'm also speaking somewhat. Uh, yeah, sorry, but I'm speaking somewhat half of the gaming community that's saying, "Hey, we need you guys over over at the gaming industry to fix the games, finish our games." You know, because it's like they'll do anything to actually have you guys like pure stuff. You know, like say, "Oh, you get this cool DLC," or or, or just like what. You know, just like what De like Destiny did, if you pre the game of Destiny for, right before it comes out, you get that red sparrow. And also, like, if you get the expansion pass for the DLC, you get the tumbler, which I got those, yeah. I'm guilty. But, um, but anyway, back to, 
you know, to, so just don't pre-order games if you want the stuff to be finished. Now, for those that still want to do it, I'm fine by that. I'm not against that. That's your guys' decision. I'm not forcing you guys, so... So, just remember, I'm not forcing you guys to not pre-ordering games. It's your guys' decision. So, I'll let you guys, you know, in on that. Um, if you guys want more videos like this, I have to go. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Go Chief out.